Hey guys, it's RSMM2. Um, first off, I'm back. Um, got a couple of updates, announcements, various other things that are going on right now. Uh, what I've been up to, other things. Uh, got some fan art that, um, that, uh, get a, 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 ah, derp! Okay, yeah, sadly, a lot of these updates does revolve around that meme. So, anyway, let, 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 let's get this started here. Alright, let's get the big, important thing, main story, right out of the way. Hey, right off the bat here. So, uh, in case you don't want to stick around, you can leave. Um, Conlon's mind is cancelled. Because, for a number of reasons. Now, main reason is, I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it, and I don't know what it is with World War II games where you're fighting the Japanese, but they're all equally infuriating. Rising Sun, granted, I was attached to it for a while, was infuriating. World at War, I got through that and then got out. This game is no different. It is Beyond infuriate. Now, it's not just the game. It's not. It's some of the things that I'm working with as well. Cause, cause in the game, Conlon has a voice actor. He doesn't say much, so I figured I'd be able to edit it out with an, an audio editing piece of software that I had. And then a virus happened, and then I had to get rid of that. Again, you know, how it is. Nothing works. Anyway. Also, oh, the console, it, the, the as in where you type in the commands, isn't working out for me. It, it's just not working. It, I, there, actually, to be honest, there was only one moment in the entire game that I wanted to do, and that was the bit with the airplane. And, and, and I, and I thought it would be a good idea to do this, because I could just get rid, just get rid of the HUD, and it'd be easy. Uh, but, there's a number of other reasons, but, I'm just not gonna do this, guys. But, um, don't worry, because I have a backup plan. Now, I found this recently for like a dollar at a thrift store, along with several other games actually, which you probably don't care about. Anyway, I found this at a thrift store, and I've been looking for this for a while. I didn't expect to find it there. I was actually looking for um, something else. But, um, point is, I got it running, and it's perfect. And actually... There might be a chance for Pal to actually make an appearance in this. So, I'm be on the lookout for uh, Barnes' mind. Or Barnes' mind, or, or something, or other. Um, as for the mind logo, I'm just going to use the Conlon's mind logo, because uh, at this, po at this point, uh, it took me a while to actually draw that, because I had to keep redoing it. it I'm actually still not very happy with the... God damn it, I'm not gonna edit this out. Um, I'm actually still not happy with the mine logo itself, but at this point, I'm I'm just gonna use the Conlon's mine logo. Now, uh, do keep in mind that this game is actually pretty short, seeing as how it's an expansion pack. Think, um, probably the length of uh, Blue Shift or something. Like, like, it's that short, but I still want to make a series out of it. I'm still looking for the other expansion pack, Breakthrough. And if I do find it, I'll check it out and get back to you on that. But, um, for now, uh, Barnes's Mind is an absolute yes. Moving on to that fan art, um, someone sent me this. His email address consists of a bunch of Q's, X's, Z's, and there are a few numbers in there at gmail.com. Um, um, this is... <laughs> uh, 
I'm not gonna lie, this is awesome. Like, I didn't expect to actually get any fan art, but this is amazing. Well, except for... The limbs are too short. All of the limbs are too short. The chest piece goes down way too low. The crotch piece on the T-51B power armor does not look like that. The boots on the T-51B power armor do not look like that. The Gauss rifle has... Ah, derp! He's not even that attached to the Thunder, so Thunder shouldn't even be in this picture. Thunder does not have a strap. The Gauss rifle does not have that many bars, and the muzzle on the Gauss rifle does not look like that. Matt's hair is not that wild. The shoulder piece actually has more of another shoulder piece going over the original shoulder piece, but the curve shape is accurate. The shoulder piece, the elbow piece, the ah, derp. The Gauss rifle has a bar that goes over the trigger mechanism. The knees do not look like that. Gobi does not look like that. And there's a little line coming off of Gobi. And the stock on the end of the... Ah, the, uh, derp! The legs aren't thick enough. The neck piece isn't that color. I could go on, but I think I've made my point. But other than that, this is still awesome. My god, I derped three times and I didn't even get to all the flaws. Now here's something for all you bronies out there. Okay. Skylight Pegasus. This is friggin' amazing. And to be honest, this is actually what he would probably look- This is Matt as a pony. I'll leave a link in the description to where you can find this. This- This is amazing. I- I wasn't expecting someone to actually try this, but- this is still pretty friggin' cool. And I, I don't know what's up with the Brody community, but I respect that. I respect this. The, 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 ah, derp! So anyway, go check out uh, Skylight Pegasus on DeviantArt. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, she only has, he, 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 god damn it, I, I, I keep getting confused by that. Um, he only has two things up now. And the other one is related to my next topic. K-Cat. I think that's how you say it. You are a friggin' genius. This has piqued my interest in the My Little Pony franchise as a whole. I mean, it is amazing how, how, how you took something as kiddish and childish as My Little Pony and creating something so friggin' badass. I read the whole thing, all 45 chapters. I'll leave a link in the description to this as well. This is amazing. I mean, all honesty, this is the best friggin' fanfic I have ever read in my entire life. Also, it's partly the reason why I've been away for so long. I was a, I was actually completely off for a week just recently because I had the virus. But I this heck of a page turner. This book, I guess, even though it's not really a book and it's two thousand pages long, so I wouldn't even bother trying to print out the PDF that I downloaded. Yeah, okay, I downloaded the PDF to read it, but it's. it's it's awesome! And before all you fans of this fanfic, I know it has fans because uh, it has a shitload of crap on TV and art. Before you go nuts and say, read this, yes, I'm reading Project Horizons, it's... I honestly cannot decide if this one is better than the original. It's really, really friggin' good. I don't... Something with the writers of the Fallout fanfics and the with the the, the, the ah, derp. Now, I give this fanfic credit because I actually cared for the main character in this. I mean, chapter thirty-three. Uh, spoilers, by the way. I was crying at the end. It was friggin' sad, and. Somber, congratulations, you made me cry for a miniature horse. That is of deserving praise. You have accomplished what others could not. This, 
the, the, this fanfic is that friggin' amazing. I, I hi, I'll leave a link to this one in the description as well. Check both of them out. Read read the, the original first, of course. But check both of them out because they are friggin' amazing. Even, even, if, even if you're not into the whole pony thing, you'd probably still get something out of this. Hell, even Skylight dragged me into writing one. Well, co-writing it, sort of. More more feedback-ish type thing, I guess you could probably say that. Um, more, public, more of a publisher because he couldn't work the websites. Uh, so, look, point is I'm involved in the production of this one. Speaking of which, Skylight, uh, when are we going to get started on Chapter 2 with this? Because I have things to do. I'm, I'm, I desperately need to do episode 18. And anyway, uh, I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. I'm leaving a lot of links, aren't I? Um, check this, this one out. It's only one chapter and it's incredibly short. I think, I think they actually keep track of the words. I think it was like, a, 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 I think 2000 or something. But nonetheless, it's short, but check it out. I'm not writing this. I'm not writing a lot of it, but I'm, I'm putting in ideas here and there and stuff. Look, just go check this one out. Since we're on the topic of uh, Fallout Equestria shifting over into Matt's mind, um, on the DeviantArt, on my DeviantArt page, you can now read um, a Matt's mind fanfic, and I'll leave a link to the description. God. Damn, I'm leaving a lot of links. You're probably not gonna go to them all. But, um, there's... I'm now doing a Matt's Mind fanfic with Matt, Engineer, Dogmeat, and LP, short for Little Pip, the protagonist from the original Fallout Equestria, because it was available, and I thought it would be friggin' awesome. Oh, and yes, on another note, they did say I could never make Matt look awesome standing next to a miniature horse. And I think I speak for a number of people when I say I proved you dead wrong. But in all seriousness, this picture was actually my background for the longest time. Um, this was actually a challenge. Someone messaged me, said I could never make Matt look awesome standing next to that pony. Was it expecting me to add a bunch of explosions to give the horse a gun, were you, and make them all look completely friggin' awesome and set the sky on fire. I actually haven't been working on this comic for a little bit now, but don't worry, I do plan to go back to it. I'm just trying to come up with ideas. I'm leaning towards that nuke idea that I have, because I kind of want to see where that story is going in my head. Anyway, you've waited, um, and now I'm going to deliver what most of you probably came here for, other than, uh, the Conlon's Mind thing. Um, Matt's Mind news. Now, there's a number of things going on with this series. Um, number one most notable, probably, is yesterday I posted a video called Matt's Mind Off the Record Tape Number One. Now, some of you asked what this was. Now... Matt's Mind Off the Record is, like, I'll compile, like, a script or something, and if I don't use it, I have what I call the Matt's Mind Archive, and I'll just place it there. Um, so what this basically is, it's, is, it's either deleted content, whether it be audio or footage, in this case, audio, I, as I said, I'm not going to edit the, this out. Um, it's either video or audio or other various th things that did not make it into the series, so they're still being showcased if I deem them worthy. In this case, the, the Kendall backstory was indeed worthy. My god, maybe I should edit this. this... Wait, never mind. He stopped. In this case, the Kendall backstory was friggin' hilarious, so I decided... To, actually sit down and record the audio and stuff. It's not quite Matt's mind, but it's, if you're still looking for more Matt 
type things. I recommend you go over and listen to uh, tape number one. I'm not going to leave a link. Just go to my page. Unless you want me to leave a link. I don't know. Leave your answer in the comments. Or don't. Because this is pointless. No, I don't, I don't really know. Just go to the page and look it up. Anyway, moving on to the show itself. Um, Matt's mind is at a turning point. Um, because... Up until now, we've seen Matt as a bit of an asshole, I guess you could say. I don't, I don't really know what you would call him, but um, but it's nearing that that turning point where his more emotional side starts to come out. Um, now, spoilers, by the way, he tries to commit suicide later, and um. And it's, it, believe me, all this stuff, it, it's been building up since episode one. It's all going to come together. This has all been planned. It's, and it all just comes together in the finale. It's going to be incredible. I can guarantee, I, I have so many great ideas for, for this plan. And episode 17 is coming along very nicely. No, wait. Wait. Uh, episode 17. Um. Uh. No, wait, that episode's done. Episode 18! Uh, episode 18 is coming along nicely. Um, the script is pretty much done. I should be able to... i got to move this... Should be able to start, um, actually recording the voice pretty soon. Um, and then that leaves us with quite possibly the best episode planned so far, episode 19. There's a lot of really good stuff in that. We're gonna start to going on, gonna start on another DLC, not gonna say which one. I'm not gonna spoil it. Um, I have... First crossover, not gonna say who it is, again, spoilers, um, I guess you could call it technically a fourth wall joke, but I wouldn't call it that, because it's not really a fourth wall joke, it's really just Matt questioning a lot of things from my, like, it's, it's pretty funny. So, um, episode 18... Nearly done. Um, episode 19 is going to be friggin' amazingly epic. Okay, moving on. I wasn't expecting this project, Skyrim Shenanigans, to go anywhere, but I'm actually working on it. So, be on the lookout for that. Eventually, I don't know when. There's one mod. I'm, I have one mod on it. It's giving me a lot of trouble. The game keeps crashing. Um, not gonna bother asking any of you because, again, spoilers. But, um, so that's a work in progress. Next up, I'm just putting this out there to get it out of the way. Um, while back, I had an entire video. I'm not editing this. I'm not editing this. I had an entire video devoted to, um, whether or not I'm going to make Lonesome Road Matt's Mind Season 4. I've come to the conclusion that it will not be Season 4. It's going to be the pre-finale for Season 3. So now, the only hope of uh, Matt's Mind Season 4 is a... is something I can do with the rumored Fallout 4. Which... I know you're working on something, Bethesda. You you've said it. You've said you work. You've been working on something, and and you've actually recently started it. And so I know you're working on something. And if it's Fallout Four, I will personally get in my car, drive over there, and hug you. Seriously, I I live like a couple miles away. Not really sure how far exactly. Yeah, I'll have to look it up. I'll look look up the the address. Ah, derp. Now. On accounts with what he does, I'm not gonna say whether he kills, um, 
Ulysses or works with him, because it's too early to determine that at this point. But, um, I, it is going to be part of the series. You, you will see the divide in season three. All right, I just need to touch base on this real quick. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to see Pal's mind news, were you? Um, I'm thinking of redoing the first couple episodes of Pal's mind because they had incredibly low frame rate and using, I wouldn't even call it a microphone because it's not even a microphone. It's actually an MP3 player with a microphone. It's moving on. Um, I'm not sure yet whether I'm going to do it, but it's a possibility, and I really think I need to remake those first six episodes. I don't know. Actually, right now, Allied Assault is acting up. I don't know what's going on with it. I actually recently had... I actually just yesterday got Spearhead running, and I had to struggle with the darn thing just to get the console to work. Actually, no. I had to completely mutilate the game to even get it to run. And even right now, I can't go above 800 by 600. But I should be able to get rid of the hunt. Anyway, moving on. That's a possibility. Now I need to ask a couple of questions regarding this. First off, what is the deal with you guys? What are you on, because Fallout Equestria was friggin' amazing and got me actively watching episodes. Seriously, I went in and downloaded all of them in case they get taken off of YouTube. What is with you guys? It's so damn addictive. What do you see in this? I don't even know what, know what I see in this. I mean, you go nuts. They, they, they gave Derpy six lines. I counted them. Six Lies and you went absolutely nuts. Actually, half of the characters here. Not even sure have lies. I know that blue one didn't. I know Octavia. God damn it, I know her name. I know Octavia uh, didn't have any. She was just playing a violin. Not even sure that's a violin. I think when. Didn't we. Didn't they touch base on this in Project Horizon? God damn it. It's happening. Uh, anyway, um, what, 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 what is, what is up with this? I, I don't get it, honestly. I mean, I'm into it, I like it, I really like it, okay, fine. Call me a brony. Just, just get that out of the way. Um, it's, I just don't get it. You guys are going absolutely nuts. It's friggin' hilarious. Actually, just today, totally wasn't expecting this. Someone hung up a Derpy Day poster in the hallway. Totally unexpected. Telling me to give muffins to complete strangers. Why would I do that? I don't know them. In fact, it'll raise a number of questions, like, who the hell are you? Why are you giving me this? What flavor is it? And why are you into this meme? And to be honest, those are questions I don't want to answer. So, don't get me wrong. It's a friggin' great franchise, but I don't know. You, you guys are, you guys are weird. And since we're on the topic, I think we can all stop worrying about Derpy. I think she's fine. What's the time at? Oh, God. 24 minutes. I talk a lot. Anyway, I need to touch base on this real quick. 57,000 views, guys. 57,000. I was expecting a couple hundred or something. But 57,000. Wow. I don't even know what to say. This is... This is... This is amazing. It's... <laughs> Thanks, guys. I wasn't expecting it to get... I didn't think it was going to get this popular. But 
this is friggin' amazing. But seriously, I swear to God, if this gets to 100,000... Actually, I don't know what I'm gonna do if it gets to 100,000. Ugh, derp! Okay, moving on. Sorry, I, I, I won't keep you guys much longer. I know you have lives and would rather not listen to me ramble. Or maybe you would, in which case, wow, that's kind of sad. But anyway, the Minecraft server. For construction has halted due to an error with the bucket server. I don't know what it is, and I don't know if other people are getting it, but I don't see anyone else complaining, and I'm apparently the only one getting it. I should try re-downloading a, a new server build, but... To be honest, I'm not really that into the whole server thing anymore, but, but, but nonetheless, I am gonna go through with this, um, and the server will be up sometime this summer. That or late spring. Maybe even... No, 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 that's too early. Um, but I, I don't know how much longer this is going to take to build. As you can see from this picture, production is going... It's getting very, very needlessly complicated. Anyway, um, but overall, progress will resume. I just don't know when. Oh, yes, a goddamn hair keeps getting in my eye. Um, and, uh, Minecraft Inventions. To be honest, now I don't even know if... I don't even know if it's gonna be back. But, uh, but this thing is coming along nicely, isn't it? It's, uh... No, 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 it's not coming along nice. It's a piece of crap. I need to mutilate the thing and re... retune all the note blocks to make it work. Not gonna say what it is yet, though. It's, but, can assure you that if I do post a video of it, you'll like it. Okay, one last thing that I'm probably gonna go. Um, Mike's Mind the Movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking sequel. Yeah. I, actually, I was planning for sequel. I actually have a really neat trailer planned out, but when I'm gonna start on this, I have no friggin' clue. But I can assure you all the questions that were brought up in the last one will be answered. But actually, I don't even know if I want to do this, because last one ended up uh, out of our minds, and... You know, I just hate that so much. But the but the idea is there. You, you don't have to nail it in anymore saying I should do a sequel. I know I should do a sequel. But I don't know if or when I'm actually going to start on it. And that's about it for this update. So, now you have things to look forward to. You don't have to go absolutely nuts that there's not a My, new My Little Pony episode this weekend. Yeah, I'm going nuts too. Anyway, um, so, that's about it. Um, Barnes' mind? Yeah, Colin's mind is... No. Ah, uh, got new stuff coming out? Um, uh, so that's pretty much it. Okay.